the Honorable Member of Vancouver Quadra. Hey, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and Mr. Speaker, this is, is an incredibly important point of privilege. It's an, a very important issue because it goes to the heart of whether Canadians can trust this minister and this government with their serious responsibility around taking Canada into war. And the Liberals believe that it's simply not credible uh, that this minister was uh, inadvertently um, missed, misbriefed and didn't know what he was saying. And I think the timeline actually supports that. It was already on the public record. Uh, the United States uh, General Dempsey had publicly congratulated two other countries for their use of precision uh, missiles in Syria uh, before the statement was made by the minister, the statement that was so conveniently uh, alleging that Canada was asked to expand our bombing mission into Syria. So I would like to ask the minister to table any documents support, supporting that Canada was asked to enter that uh, bombing mission in Syria based on, as he alleged, that Canada was the only other country with precision mi missiles. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it took several days after the uh, public record was corrected by a journalist that what the minister is, had said was actually false. Uh, several days later, the chief of defense staff wrote a letter to the uh, Ottawa citizen confirming the minister's story. So I would like to ask the minister, did he or his office request that the chief of defense staff or the chief of defense staff's office uh, send that letter to back up the minister? And lastly, because it is so uh, difficult to believe that the minister made a genuine mistake, and al although he has apologized, he has apologized while b blaming the staff, a third request I have is that this minister would table all of his briefing notes. It would help the speaker in making a determination about this point of privilege. Thank you.